Hey guys, here finally with MLB 14, the show for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, this year around, I got this game only on digital. Um, every other year, I've been getting the physical, but I decided to get it digital this time because I had... I knew I was going to be very busy during the day and I didn't have a chance to get the physical. So I said, you know what, let me get it. It was available already when I woke up early in the morning. So I downloaded the game. Um, the game is right now for $35.99 if you download it. And it's $39.99 if you get it from the store. Yeah, only $4 that you save. That sucks. Um, and um, it's 3 point. 3 gigabytes large which is very very large for a PlayStation Vita game uh, and but before we go ahead and keep on going let's go ahead and show you guys the trophies yeah. MLB 14 the show has 22 trophies and like you see right there I already unlocked one trophy um, of course it has a platinum trophy and one of the trophies that I unlocked is patient is a virtual um, in any single play appearance see 10 or more pitches but there is one negative thing that I found about these trophies and it's a new feature called quick count uh, for example a lot of those trophies if you use the new feature it says quick count uh, the trophy for that achievement will be disabled or will be invalid that means that if you complete let's say you watch, you see 10 pitches and you have the quick count feature enabled you're not going to get that you know you're not going to get that trophy i got that trophy while i was trying um the road to the show cuz you can't use quick count um and like you see over here grand slam in any game mode hit a grand slam and right here quick counts will feature will invalidate the trophy and so on so on there's a lot of trophies just like that right here it says in any game mode with paul goldschmidt um collect four hits drive in four rbis score four runs in a single game but if you use quick counts feature will invalidate this trophy now that very 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 suck a lot because i was using this feature a lot today so let's go ahead back to the game Okay, so here back to the game. Let's go ahead and swipe right here so we get get in. And like you see right here, right away, you notice a big, big difference with the home screen right here. You got everything, every single feature here is in squares. Um, here you got play now. If you hit play now, you could play the show live, which is the new feature that was added last year. And you get exhibition game. Here you got franchise mode. You could play franchise or season. Um, postseason you can start a new one or continue and of course you can always load from the cloud you can practice here your batting your pitching here you got the home run derby online or offline and here you got road to the show which is one of my favorite features and of course it has uh, cloud saving as well which that means you could continue the your progress in your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 um, right now if you hit the R you could go through these menus right here like you see right here or you can touch that too uh, right here if you go to settings you could control all your normal settings like your sliders and all that you could set up your favorite team as well and all that and that's it nothing really special inside the settings but let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of gameplay here so you guys can see the difference in the graphics um, here I'm just gonna go ahead and choose any team here I'm not gonna choose the Yankees because I always choose the Yankees so let me go ahead and choose uh, I'm gonna choose Arizona versus let me see who I pick over here oh you know what I like the Nationals this year and I'm gonna play as mm, the Nationals and of course I could play any use any any uniform here let me go ahead and use this one I like the red one right there you could change all the pictures I'm gonna stay with Strasburg let's go ahead and hit OK Let's go ahead and hit OK. Uh, of course, here you can change on parks. I'm going to choose that one. And here is where you choose your quick counts. You could turn it off, which is by default, or you could turn it on. It says, when on, every at bat will start in a mid or late pitch count. Thus, expediting your experience, this option cannot be changed once loaded into a game. So, like you see right there, once you choose quick count, you can't change it until the game ends. Um, time of day, day or night, uh, clear, plowly, over cost. Uh, I'm going to choose clear skies. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose six innings. 
Okay. MLB The Show has baseball from the Valley of the Sun. Chase Field in Phoenix. Uh, one thing that you're going to notice right away if you played this game before is the, the announcement and the presentation of the games once it starts. It's just the freaking same. It's the same as the other years back. And like you see right there, the count right now is started in two balls and one strikes. And of course, that's meant over right there. I got one hit. Yes, I did. Look at that. Uh, they did that just to make the game faster. That way, uh, you could supposedly you could play in nine inning games in less than thirty minutes. That's that's the point. Uh, right here, over here, like you see right there, I'm three and two. So you gotta be careful, cause if you if you start like 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 a normal game, you might get. There you go. Is that a home run? Nope, it ain't. Holy crap, it is. <laughs> Holy crap, I did not expect that. <laughs> well, that's cool. And like you can see, it has a little bit of animations. This is the beast, Bryce, Bryce Harper. Uh, that guy is going to be a beast this year. Um, and like you see right there, it didn't show you too, too many animations. And the animations are very, very familiar. Um... And I knew it. I knew it. I knew when that when we didn't see gameplay of this game, I kind of knew that. There you go. And I got another hit. I kind of knew that we were gonna get the same game graphics wise than last year, but with new features like we did last year. Um, the graphics they do look good. I'm not kidding. They do look good, and I would say they look a little bit more polished than last year there you go wow I am just hammering these people what the hell oh my god <laughs> believe me I, I, I don't know what's going on but I'm having luck here wow And of course, the everything is the same. You can also guess the pitches by pressing the R and right here, selecting your location and selecting your pitch type. Oh my God! What the hell's going on with this team? Ian Desmond will stand in now. And like you see right there, one and one. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Well, of course, if I want to. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, you're gonna score, you're gonna score. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. Wilson Ramos will stand in looking to keep this first inning rally hot. Wow, this is a very good rally. And this is the first time I think I ever play using um Oh man, like you see right there, I did not pay attention to the count. And the first pitch struck me out because he already had two strikes. So that's the thing. You have to pay attention to the uh, count that the batter comes in. Okay. You have to pay a lot of attention because you could get struck out just, just by... Swinging at one bad pitch or taking a pitch. Like you see right there, a little bit of animations right there. A lot of people don't really care about the animations. I actually do. I like seeing the replays and all that. When you hit a home run or when you hit a very nice double. Or when you complete a very cool... Um, Play, um, double play or, or triple play or something like that. I actually love to see all those triple, uh, all those replays. Um, 
And that's why I that that has always been one of my complaints here. Oh yeah, look at that. Even Strasbourg is hitting. And safe. <laughs> Oh my god, even with the pitcher. Denard Span will try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to I got the high fastball there. Okay, this is third out. I hope it is so I can show you guys the pitching as well in the video. There it goes. 6 0 in one inning. That's insane. Gerardo Parra will take his cuts now. Okay, the pitching, of course, is the same as it used to be before. And this is going to be a foul ball. Of course, it also has the post pitching if that's what you like. So, uh, if you like the post pitching, it still came available this time. Uh, right now, I think I, I, I didn't realize I, I didn't have the post pitching activated because I've been using it all day. So, I actually thought I had the post pitching activated. There you go. Swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping first. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Paul Goldschmidt will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. And one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the ball. Like you see, the graphics, they look very, very nice. Um, I actually thought that last year's game looked very, very good. And this year is no exception. Um, some players don't really look like they are in real life. Like, for example, Prince Fielder. Uh, Prince Fielder still doesn't look like Prince Fielder. Uh, last year, it, for me, it didn't look like him. And this year is the same thing. It doesn't look like him either. Uh, this year, uh, remember, it's he's with the Texas Rangers, which is a good pick for the Rangers because they didn't have a very good uh, first baseman. Okay. Well, yeah, that's great. And that's it. Pitching, of course, you can also go to a bullpen right here. And you go to your bullpen and select uh, whatever bullpen um, pitcher, Rafael Soriano. Let's go ahead and warm it up. And that's it. That fast. Right now he's 3 and 1. No way. There you go. Like you saw right there, very cool animations. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the throw to LaRoche is in time to God. Gerardo Parra will dig in now. Struck out and lined out in his first two at bats. You know what I think? I accidentally chose beginner because um, there you go <laughs> one pitch and that's over and like you see right there when it when the game finishes uh, there's no animation you know they're not celebrating or anything like that you just see the who is the player of the game and from here you can see his record during the game game log box score you see right here 
And right there, let's go and exit the game. And of course the load screens, I think they look a lot better than before. And of course you could take snapshots of the random players that come out during the um, loading screen. They, they, they actually look pretty cool. They actually look pretty cool. And as wallpapers, they would look very nice. So guys, that's it. That's, that was a look at the little gameplay there of um, MLB The Show 14. I will make another video for Road to the Show later on and Home Run Derbies if you want to see that. But let me know if you guys want to see anything in it specific. So please let me know and let me know what you guys think about the game. I gotta be honest the graphics for me they look pretty much the same as last year's me a little bit more polished than last year's but they do look good and uh, that uh, quick count feature i do like it but the only negative thing is that the trophies will not be able to unlock if you're using that feature a lot so that kind of sucks right there so guys but that's it that's it for this video let me know what you guys think about it till next time guys